Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room. And I'm going to start with this Flavors of the Month kit. It is from Pink Fresh and it is making the best of it. I believe that's the name of the collection. I think it is. I think it is. Do I have a cheat sheet? Actually, I have a cheat sheet somewhere. I just have no idea where I put it. Anywho, so gorgeous collection. I love the saturation of these colors. I think it is beautiful. So I'll flip through what I have kind of quickly. I've got this piece here. It's called Heart Open Wide. This is amazing. I've got this No Risk, No Magic. Simple Life. And then I have two sheets of textured white cardstock. I've also got Chipboard Flare and some die cut ephemera bits with a gorgeous gold metallic, as well as some puffy words, mind read, grow and love. So with this, I'm going to scrapbook this picture here of my sweet little buddy named Mason. And we went to the vet and he was Mr. Happy Boy greeting everybody there. And I think he is just so darn funny. But then again, my pets are my babies, love them. So I have that. Oh, but wait, there is more. I'm going to use this sketch right here, created by the She's Crafty Girl. And let's see, we have got some banner pieces coming across, fishtail banners, strips, whatever. Use your leftovers, whatever you have. A very large banner piece, a block. We have got a visual triangle of some kind of embellishments and a couple banners here, if that works for you. Okay, we can do that, right? So let's see where we want to start start with this. Where do we want to start? Now this is an easy to use background. You know what I think I'm going to do? I've been feeling white lately, so I'm going to have white be my background. Great. I'm going to go ahead and preemptively, oh yes I am, cut this to 11 by 11. And the reason being, maybe 11 and a quarter. The reason being is I've got a hinker. <laughs> I'm hoping, I haven't even looked yet, that the papers that are in the pattern paper kit as well as the shots of life kit i am hoping that i will have good stuff to mat with this is the kind of thing somebody should check before they just start cutting things but that's okay guys it's paper we'll have fun i'll also go ahead with our other piece of white i want to get that glare out of the way for you guys with that other piece of white and i will mat my photo for sure why am i getting guys it is this gloomy thunderstormy day today so please bear with me i'm trying to figure out what my best lighting is today and it's just so freaking gloomy there is like no good lighting today i think that's my answer for you it's just kind of black outside but that's okay we're gonna get through this all right let's do this thing so we have this now our sketch we have our sketch let me hold that down for a minute what do we want to use for our large block piece. I'm trying to figure out what I might want to do. So we've got this big block piece. And we've got these gorgeous pieces. Now, the first thing I know is, you know how we have these banner pieces that are coming across right here? I thought it'd be so cool to use a few of these pieces, fussy cut them out and have them come across. So I have to keep that in mind. So I'm not really gonna be able to use much of this unless I concentrate on like these three pieces down here and I can use a top piece. <gasps> I like that idea. Okay, so it has to be bigger than the photo, right? And let's make sure we don't cut into any of the bluey greeny stuff because we're gonna use those as decorative elements. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now we can do this without much muss or fuss, right? So we have this block. We want it to be fairly chunky, right? Like, like mild chunk. Got it. And my paper across is 11 and a quarter. So let's go. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Like 10. We'll go to like 10 inches. Okay, perfect. Scraps for something. They always come in handy. I love it. So we have that. I've got to map my photo still. As we know, we have to do that still. Now, what, uh, oh, I need my big giant fishtail banner piece. This, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have the bluey greeny pieces coming down. 
Is this going to be too, um, <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Guys, do I want to use this or do I want to use this one? If I go this way, it's going to look more subtle. Am I feeling subtle? Hmm, I could be subtle. Now, this is a pretty big fishtail banner piece that we're talking about using. But I'm, I'd also like to use almost two complete rows of these gorgeous flowers. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, and then... Oh, but wait, we need to cut off. I'm trying to be strategic and not cut too much of the good stuff off. Okay, so that's right above that floral piece. I will cut right here. And guys, I will be able to mess with this a little bit. I have to cut the fishtail piece um, because, you know, like photos can go over it and all of that. Now, so we have this, we have this. Now, what I was thinking... You guys see this piece right here? What if I cut three of these out, three different shapes, because I only have two photos and I have them going across and then I'll have some of the floral elements. And then like if I cut out, let's see, let's see which one would be best. Like this big piece, I could maybe cut out the center and have Mason's picture in between. Okay, so that's gonna be some homework. I'm not gonna need to use the white cardstock and I'm gonna cut out these three pieces so I can layer them. So give me a minute, I've got some homework. So I pretty much have this lined up as I plan on having it on here. I think it's super cute, super fun. It's showing lots of blues and greens, a little bit of this tone, which is gonna be great because I'll have my title grow in love in there. Perfect. Um, Botanical gardens, no. Oh, I love these little seed pods. So the idea I was having is I can use these little frames for, um, you know, for like extra decor. So I thought that would be super fun. We can put this floral piece here, fill the world with kindness. Aw, that might go next to his picture. He's the sweetest baby. Okay, so that works for here. Ooh. But I love these bits and I'd love to have three on there. So I'm going to get more of this tomato soup color in, like my title. So I don't want to like have them attached down quite yet. Let me see. So I can have that there with those seed pods. I really like that idea. Then let's see. A little bit of pink is not a bad idea. We can have that over there. And then. Actually, I might just have the two. All right, for now, I'm gonna say the two. So that's basically the vibe with this. Let's take a look. Guys, I now have stuff everywhere. This happens every time I create. I, I seriously start out so tidy. I clean between every layout, the whole thing. I don't even know what happens. Okay, now, if you get the pattern paper kit, Sorry, my filming was going in the wrong direction. All right, now, if you get the pattern paper kit, you would get these two. This is freaking amazing. So that would make a great mat, quite frankly. We're done. So we can have all of these gorgeous colors. And then we have this piece with all of these sentiments and this. Hmm. Let me see how I feel about that. I did a really thin one. Now I like it where the green is. It just doesn't do anything down here per se. It's not bad. Oh, I think I'm gonna do it. So I'll go ahead and double mat with that. I think that'll be great. Then, all but wait. Um, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that my shots of life kit? Where's my pattern paper kit? What am I even talking about? That is, okay, I did that right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where the heck? So then if I brought in my Shots of Life kit, I am so sorry. I am losing my brain right now. <gasps> oh, we've got Elpas, so I can do his name in the Elpas. So I have that. Oh, you guys, I can cut out a couple of these pieces. Let me see what's on here. <gasps> Look at that yellow floral. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's some beautiful pieces in here. Don't shriek, guys. I love this yellow floral, and I, I'm going to have to come up with some extra yellow now. I'm going to bring the yellow floral there. Now, we've got some of the yellow in this floral. It's on the back side. 
what was on our other two pieces. Guys, I don't know what the deal is, but I'm loving that yellow floral. I'm going to go back to my original piece and grab, ooh, this piece right here with the strong yellow floral. Okay, I'm bringing something back from my very first piece because I thought that was so beautiful. How is that pretty? That was so pretty. And then, now I might have off-balance flowers. I have that. I have those. I need a little bit more floral action. I've got white. How about I'll grab some of this of this pinky blue. <laughs> this is one of those things where it's growing and growing and growing. I'm going to pop his name probably right in his frame area right here. His name's Mason. That would be super cute. And then the last thing we'll have to grab is the embellishment kit once I have these pieces settled in. Okay, so these pieces are on, guys. Come on now, look at how fun and cute. Okay, so I have that. Now, this one's not even on. What am I thinking? I haven't bent my leaves up, so I don't have those final bits done. But I did want to look at the embellishment piece and see if there's anything we want to put on. Guys, I could decorate this stuff forever. Look at this floral piece. Wonder, ah, it's sticky. Yes, I'm gonna pop that there. Guys, let me try to get something with adhesive down so quickly before it is all the way down. Oh my gosh, it is so sticky. Okay, there we go. Just a little something up there. It's not a big deal. I just like to have stuff. Now I want another floral because I put that piece there. That's what happens. I don't need one, but I want one. Every little thing is gonna be all right. It doesn't need to be perfect. Be the sunshine that makes the rainbow. <gasps> that is cute. But I'm thinking it doesn't need to be perfect to be fun. Maybe I should do that. He was at the vet. At the vet. Or do I do one more story because these pieces better than expected. I think I'll do that. Do I do that and tuck it? I think I will slightly tuck because it kind of fits in this spot perfectly. Okay, so we have that, just a little sentiment. Clearly, I need to pop that up. Totally fell asleep on the watch when I thought I was doing so well. Let me do a couple little bends on my leaves to give them their zhuzh that I love. And I wanted that yellow. I was all about having the yellow in the two places, okay. I have that, I've got the floral. I love these pieces. I just don't, wait, if I did better than expected. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, could I sneak this just like right here for no good reason? I don't know. No, I mean the red against the red, it's not really giving us anything, but this is, this is giving. Which is a little bit of that gold metallic. Okay, guys, it's just it's just a matter of layering and having fun with it. And what can I put on and what can I build? And with me, a lot of it is how much can I possibly get on? But never mind, you do you. Okay, guys, that is my layout today. I love it. I think it was a blast. I have got these great little leafy bits. We fussy cut a couple things out. We used die cuts, ephemera, chipboard flare, puffy words, like the alpha, so many things between the flavor of the month kit, between the pattern paper, shots of life, and the embellishment kit, guys. And it brought it all together. And we are done documenting this sweet photo of Mr. Mason. All right, guys, a few still shots to follow, links to all the good stuff below, and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye guys.